Hey friends, quick update before we give you a tour of our travel trailer, now that we're living in it full time. At the beginning of May, our solar system arrived. I will never get tired of saying solar system, by the way. Brian ordered 12 370 watt monofacial solar panels, two inverters at 5,000 watts each, and six lithium batteries for just over 30 kilowatt hours total. Yeah, Unfortunately, there's a big, huge magnolia tree anyway. Yeah, we're gonna chop it down. Cool. That's right, because we're eco-friendly. We're chopping a tree down to put up solar panels. <laughs> we plan to order another 30 panels in the future, but this is a start. The next step is creating the logistical plan of bringing our solar system and what remains of our prized possessions that are currently in storage over to Colorado before we do the big move and drive our RV to our land. We'll keep you posted once we know what the game plan is going to be. <laughs> but for now, on to what you came here for. What up, friends? So, it's been a long time coming. Finally. Finally! We've been more settled down, used to living in the trailer, so we want to share with our friends. <laughs> Keep for posterity's sake, so in 10 years when we live in a house, we can look back on this time and say, remember when we lived in an RV for a year? Yeah. Maybe. We don't know if it's a year, too. It could be like four years. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So, uh, but yeah, we're going to share with you, give a little tour of how it's been, mm -hmm. um, our quality of life so far, and um, yeah, it's Just been a lot more pleasant than I was expecting, I could admit that. Yeah. Um, you know, I wasn't really dreading it, but I wasn't very excited about it either. Now mm -hmm. it's just like, well, this is where I live, you know? We really don't have too much outside, but Chelsea did a lot of changes inside, so she's going to do a little tour inside, a little... Uh, What's that, what's that show, MTV show? Cribs, MTV Cribs. MTV Cribs. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to our crib on wheels. Here we go, hopefully you enjoy. If not, then you know, go f Let's do it. Yeah. All right, so up front, we didn't do too many changes. Uh, I think in a video before, it might've been when I added these gauges. So it's like pretty much it. Oh, very exciting. So I didn't do any like digital gauges. I didn't see the point of that for me. Um, we're here in Florida. Right now, most of our stuff is all electric. I do have some propane. I mean, it's back up pretty much for everything. Um, I think we're running electric heater, water heater, I mean, and we're doing electric for our um, fridge, too. We're not doing, you use the propane like when you're moving, just keep stuff cool. But anyways, there's some gauges, not really exciting. That's pretty much it for up here. We did set up some of our Simply Safe. Um, home security stuff, so you know, if you're a robber, beware. Beware! We're coming for you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nothing too exciting. If you can see in here, I don't know if you can tell, but that's a, um, this is a windshield. It's not a window, it doesn't open. So, Chelsea put a little like thermal uh, radiant barrier there. Kind of fun, whatever. These lights, we don't use them, but they're blue. It makes it really fun. We don't use them, so it's not that fun. We're not fun people. Why are you so needy? Because I wasn't filming you for two seconds. Hey, hey. Let's go around to the boring side. Let's go over here. There's nothing much going on here. So we have one one slide out, bump out, if you will, and um, that's where our our um, sofa the sofa is like 250 pounds. It's not very light, and then we have Chelsea's. Um, desk there too. That's like maybe a hundred pounds. It's also not light. Yeah, it's not very light and the chairs over there and then Chelsea herself She's like, you know, the same <laughs> weight as the sofa and the office desk together So, you know, that's like 715,000 pounds right there. In order to compensate for that, I put these, these Jacks here uh, Jack sand. Oh, that's loose <laughs> <laughs> So these are supposed to be tight so these jack stands brace this slide out here. It's fun. There's a second one over there. These help stick, keep the, the, the slide out stabilized as opposed to just like hanging, which is fine too. It's just more for like long term. Uh, that was one solution we came up with. All right. Um, if you're just trying to get to know the Jayhawk 27RB, we have our low point drain right here. Ugh. Yeah, drain. It's cool. It's fun. Electronic stabilizers. For some reason, 
our um... uh, the remote control hasn't worked yet. I think the one they the one we when we demoed the thing the remote didn't work, and then I guess, I bet it has a SUG program. You know, we're not using this trailer to travel, even though it's a travel trailer. We're kind of just like living in it. So, I mean, some of that stuff is just luxuries that I don't really care for, um, but it works. I'm not gonna open this because that mess is my my fault. But there's there's <laughs> an explosion of a box in there for storage. The other side too, it goes all the way through. They, the, the trailer came with the table. I use it all the time, it's awesome. We're gonna go to the front where we kinda have a action, I guess. If we're outside, it's too hot out here. Yeah, this door goes into the, the bedroom. I would say master bedroom, but it's not. It's just the only bedroom that we have. I don't like that term either, master bedroom. It's just like, kinda like, Awkward. slavish. <laughs> We really don't use it. We kind of just enter from the other side. But if we were to enter, just pull it. And it looks like I use this all the time because that was really easy. Boom. Now I'm in inside. Just like that. Bye. Good night. Leave me alone. Don't say And then when you're done, you gotta wash your hands though. They made that very clear. I don't, I don't, we don't use this too much, so it's a little trickier for me. One cool thing about this trailer is it came with this um, Blackstone gri uh, griddle. It's a single, single burner, um, but I think it's, this is 17 inches. Well, I mean, the only hiccup I had with it was it came with this cord. Sorry, this, um, the propane hose was kind of short, so it, I, the way I had it angled, it was all awkward. It was really weird, so I got another one from Amazon for like, $17 or whatever and it works out good but it has this J port it's almost just basically like a two inch a two inch hitch um, receiver which is I think it's I don't even think it's bolted in I just chopped it in yeah it's just in there and it works but you just open and close the propane and you got the Blackstone's awesome oh it's a cone all right, moving along. Out here we have, that is for the, is it the? Fridge? No, I think this is for the uh, furnace. I think this is for the furnace, I think this is the fridge. Don't touch that when you have the furnace. We're in Florida, I haven't ran that yet. Our water um, service here, we put fresh water, service it from there. And we're running like city, so we just have a hookup. We don't, I haven't even, I think I filled it up once just to learn. Outlets. If we have um, satellite or TV or whatever, hook it up to there or output. So you can have a TV out here. It's a TV mount as well. That right there is our vent for our um, for above our our range. Looks like it hasn't been opened very well. You got to make sure it's open when you use it, or it's not gonna work. I don't think I've checked that for like a month, so. <laughs> Speakers, I, I love those. Inside there's a Bluetooth uh, receiver and we just hook that up real quick and listen to music indoors, outdoors, you pick each zone. I mean, the, the quality isn't great, but it's, it's, it's music, it's good ambient music. Here is our hot water heater, I believe. Yeah, hot water. Cool. Behind there, we have a double axle Double axle, wheels and tires, service here, whatever, service. Double axles, <laughs> that's it, period. And when we were, I think we were living in it for like a week or two, right? And things were just rolling. I mean. Well, hello. Now that our technical difficulties are, no, it's good. Um, yeah, so we took a little break, walked the dogs and whatnot, but one thing I did want to mention was when uh, things were rolling and everything, I think the first week or two when we were staying, so I got a leveling system that we installed. Um, I actually did it by myself, and it just took like, I don't know, like 30 minutes maybe, give or take. Things under here, it just basically, it almost looks like a little ramp, and we just back the trailer up as far as we need to to level it. So I backed it up a little bit, adjusted, or I looked at the, um, the level inside, 
adjusted it accordingly and um, yeah window right into the kitchen on the other side and I installed our simply safe doorbell for some reason as I was installing I'm like I should probably put this lower and still did it I just put it in level for whatever when you're walking up but it's fine camera sees out here well enough and um, yeah so come through the front door if you're gonna burglarize me so I can get a clear picture of your face so right into the front door this is little handle comes in handy when you're walking up and down when you're driving it's gonna shut down these are not gonna be there we just stored it there because dangling everywhere inside but in here is the uh, kitchen area historically a lot of trailers have the um, griddle here but people were complaining about having smell and everything all the way in here and whatnot so they moved the grill over there and um, when I'm not using it well when we move I'll store that but anyways in here we have a little storage drawer this right here is a Lomi it is a composter so Chelsea can describe that in another video at some point I think it's all she posted stuff on our Instagram so if you want to follow us in there good description I keep some of my beverages in here oh it's dirty that's just root beer from before um, yeah outdoor beverages and then some outdoor fun stuff for a pizza whatnot it's kind of a messy but I'm gonna leave this open so that can ventilate this is our little workout station so uh, so wrapping around to the back our ladder I go up there on occasion to take leaves off of the, um, the trailer clean the gutters out because especially during right before it rains because we need the rain to wash away um, spare tire and then this is where if you're not familiar with trailers this is where we keep our our sewer hose is all in there so if you see these hitches that's where we keep it it's made like literally it's engineered perfectly to fit <laughs> a sewer hose like a 20 foot hose in there um, yeah it's very wide another low point drain shower outdoor shower ironically enough that the trailer has one key for every door except for this one you want to use outdoor shower like if you've done some work and, and or if you were playing you've been the lake or whatnot not this lake but in a lake and uh, before you want to go into your trailer to dirty it all up it just rinse off here is our 30 amp plug-in right here so electric is plugged there this is this hose is connected to our city line so you got to have a specific type of hose when you connect um, for drinking water or whatnot you don't want to just use a garden hose this hose here I don't we don't typically leave this connected all the time but this is for our flush to flush out the black tank so you would go down here empty out the black which is bodily waste <laughs> uh, sewage sewage <laughs> one thing that's really cool sewage it's not something we typically like to think about in our day-to-day -day lives it's just like hey I gotta go to the bathroom we wake up hey I'm walking I need to go to the bathroom <laughs> whatever number one or two it doesn't matter but um, whenever you're trying to do your own thing or whatnot it's very important right so it's like where does it go that's probably a question we get some of our friends what do we do with it um, I'm gonna make a separate video about what we do it's a quick uh, teaser I guess why not is uh, we have this thing here a macerator so We'll talk about that later, but um, basically, it, it it's working out pretty pretty solid. Or not. So. Or not. <laughs> Macerates it. All right. So yeah, this trailer has one black tank and has two gray tanks. So one here, and then that's how I would that's how I would um, drain that one, and then another gray underneath the slide out. So we have one more support here for the slide out. And uh, that's pretty much the gist of the trailer. There's really, on the, at least on the outside, there's really not too much to it. When we move to Colorado, if we're spending more time with it, I want to. I have some creative ideas that we'd like to like to do to make it more fun. But um, you know, one thing at a time. I can you can only literally do one thing at a time. So we'll see. And uh, yeah, let's see what Chelsea has on the inside of the trailer. She's going to describe that because she did most of the tweaks and whatnot, and I just did as I was told. And I still have a couple more things 
that I've been told to do. We'll see if I do them. I can't see because the sun is so bright. Alright, let's go inside. It's too hot out here. Welcome to our tiny abode. So here we are in the foyer. Just kidding. This is basically the heart of the trailer home that we have. When you walk in, you can see where I work during the day because I work from home full time now, which is very exciting. And this is actually a great place to do work because of all the windows this particular White Hawk model has. I get to look at the plants on my desk, get to look at the plants outside the trailer. And when we start traveling out west to move, I think it'll be really fun to stop and do some work with all the different scenery outside. After that, you come into the living room. It's very spacious actually, considering there's only one bump out. I don't know if we talked about it too much when we were hunting for our trailer, but we were really ideally looking for um, opposing slide outs because it makes the space feel so much bigger when you're inside it. So we were a little disappointed when we ended up with only one bump out, but it's actually worked out really well so far. You can see that our sofa, our giant sofa, is still here. Still has worked out really well though. When we have dinner and watch TV at night and just chillax, Brian and I and the two dogs all fit on here. Sometimes Kona likes to sit up behind on the back and it works out really great. So here is our TV and soundbar setup. The TV that came with the RV was slightly smaller and it only had 720 resolution. So both Brian and I were like, yeah, we can, we can upgrade this a little bit. So he went out and picked this out. This is the sound bar from our old house. So it works really well. We've got the subwoofer under the desk. So it's very loud for the neighborhood when we have movie night and we turn everything up. The other nice thing is that you can pivot it and turn. The TV so it's a better angle for everyone so when Brian plays video games sometimes at night he can turn it this way when he's the only one out here and I've already gone to bed but when we have movie night or during the week we make sure everyone including the dogs have a good angle and most of the time during the day though when I'm home it's tucked away the fireplace is clearly just for ambiance because it's like 900 degrees outside but it makes it feel really cozy in here so this is the kitchen we didn't do too much in here in terms of upgrades because we we're actually really happy with the layout of it there's tons of pantry space in here. I'm pretty sure we went through that in our first video. Uh, the freezer is a little small for us because we make smoothies a lot and we make some of our dog's food fresh. So it's kind of hard to shove all the chicken and frozen berries in here that we want to have. But it's something we're adjusting to full time living in an RV, guys. <laughs> and then our fridge actually works out pretty well. So right now we have the dog bowls right in front of the fridge, which gets a little annoying because this is Jazz's bowl. So if she's eating breakfast or dinner and I need to grab something from the fridge, we can't because her head's in the way. So not the best solution, but for now it's working for us. And of course, then they constantly have access during the day to water. Jazz also loves the fresh food we've been making her lately. So we really only have to wait like 20 seconds for her to be done. I've tried a few things for the spices, but actually keeping them here on the side has turned out to be the best solution. I don't know if long term it's going to be great because they are exposed to the heat from the cooking elements here, but I'm really kind of hesitant to fill this space with a spice shelf because it's just something else that's visually cluttering and it's a small kitchen. Like having our giant Vitamix blender out all the time is visual clutter, but we use it so many times a day, not sponsored by Vitamix yet that we actually have to sacrifice the counter space to leave it out here all the time. And it's taking a little bit of time to adjust to cooking in here, like figuring out how we organize our shelves has taken a bit of time. And we recently got this shelf so we could pack things underneath and kind of layer because it's an interesting kind of trapezoidal shape back there. The way that this kind of cuts in here so that the electrical components can fit on the side. But it works for us. It's a lot of spices and miscellaneous things. You know, when you downgrade to RV or travel trailer living, you don't need as many bowls or plates or cups. We just have our travel safe ones and we have one set of plates and bowls each. So we made it work, but it has taken a little bit of time to adjust to. One thing we did install in the kitchen that wasn't a huge upgrade in terms of quality of life, but just aesthetically it made me happy was this kitchen faucet. So the faucet that came with the RV, you could like move around to clean your dishes and stuff. It was really great. We've got a dual sink here, which is awesome, but it was matte black and we just wanted to change things up and sort of a little personality. So we got this ultra shiny one, a little accidentally ultra shiny 
one from Amazon and it's worked out really well. Notice the water pressure also seems higher than the one that came with the RV and it gets very, very hot, which is nice for washing dishes too. And Brian installed our water filtration system pretty soon after we moved in. We mentioned this in a previous video, but there wasn't anywhere to put our keys and our hats, dog leashes, everything we use multiple times a day going in and out of the RV. So we got this little foyer catch-all lightweight contraption that we can put sunglasses on, wallets, things like that. It's worked out really well so far. It helps keep a lot of the clutter off of the kitchen counter and just makes it easy to come in and out and have somewhere to put things. One other storage space that we really like that this particular model had is this extra pantry, which we fill with everything that we don't really want to see while we're going about our day. So we actually did a lot of personality projects here in the bathroom. It's one reason that we chose this model was that the bathroom spans the entire back of this trailer instead of only being a half bath or split like in a lot of other trailer models. So we added the backsplash, which you guys saw in a previous video. We also added lots of plants and things to just spruce it up. Also clean the air, plants are nice like that. And we upgraded the fixtures to gold as well. I almost forgot to mention the biggest major life upgrade that we added to this travel trailer, not even joking, was Brian installed a bidet on the toilet. If you haven't used a bidet, you'll not understand why like we're obsessed with it, but once you use one, you understand it just is like the best quality of life improvement you can buy. And it's a little difficult to put with a RV toilet, but we'll let Brian talk about it at some point if you're curious. Essentially, you need a different kind of adapter to make sure the hoses all connect, plumbing stuff. But yeah, so now it's a, something we can use on the daily. It does require a water connection. The one thing we are considering is upgrading the hardware in the shower. It's really hard to find nice shower heads and in particular shower faucets that will fit with this RV model. A lot of them are plastic, of course, because people are looking to minimize the weight that they're adding to their RV, or they want a longer shower hose. So we're still on the hunt for that, and I'm also tempted to replace the shower door curtain. It has a texture to it, and it's really hard to clean. So I haven't been happy with that, but not the most essential projects right now. So we're going to the final room of our chateau, which is the bedroom. So you can kind of see how dark it gets in here. I'm gonna take off everything off the windows in a second. But the nice thing is that because this side is facing where most of the afternoon sun is coming from, it helps to keep all the windows closed and use this thermal resistant covering to keep the sun reflected out. It does help, it still gets really warm in here because RVs really aren't made to be in super hot and super cold environments. But for now, it's doing a good job of trying to keep as much sun heat out as possible. Oh, look at how much light this room gets once all the coverings are off. Amazing. It's actually really beautiful and it's something we're looking forward to once we're parked out on our land in Colorado is pointing this towards the view and being able to see the Milky Way and the stars at night. For now, it's mostly a place that the dogs go to nap in the afternoons because we keep it nice and dark and cool in here. But obviously we used to sleep at night. We upgraded the mattress pretty much like the same day that we bought the trailer and we've been really happy with that. We also got this nice weighted blanket that is definitely too big for this RV, but we are still using it. One thing we were really happy with with this model is that there are a ton of outlets in the bedroom. On both sides underneath these cabinets, there are electrical outlets as well as light switches for the reading lights. We don't love the reading lights because you have to tap through the different modes and they're blue lights and we don't like to be exposed to blue light before bed since it's not great for your sleep. But also on the other side, which is kind of hard to see from this view, there are actually outlets there too and it's like a little, little cubby you can put things in. I have a fun little salt lamp black back there to add ambiance, I guess. Oh, and there's blue lights there too. Yeah, so if you really are into blue light, you can put a lot of blue light in this room which unfortunately we're not, so not a feature that we love. That was it. That's where we live. We live full time in a travel trailer. Yeah, so... Down by the lake. Yeah, living here has been pretty good pleasant 
in, I would say it was challenging at first and I was definitely not really excited about it. I can admit that. Um, and I probably said it in other videos, but I don't say I dread it. And now it's just like part of life. So some of the challenges are, there's a, we track a lot more dirt and the dogs like to be coming in and out all the time. And so when that happens, there's a lot of dirt that comes in there, bugs, we found some frogs. Oh my gosh, so yeah. many creepy crawlies. Creepy stuff. Um, and I wouldn't say it's like a big problem, like an infestation or anything like that. It's just kind of disturbing um, and uh, uh, annoying or whatnot. The AC is a, is a workhorse though. It's so. been doing great when it's been really humid and hot outside. It gets warmer in there than it does in the morning. Like it'll run all afternoon pretty much nonstop, but mm -hmm. it stays about 75, which is about all you can ask for. I mean, you really, most people who live in an RV full time are not coming to Florida for the summer. Like, yeah. There's just no way, so. I mean, or maybe they have a better <laughs> RV than we do. We're not doing those people, but there's, there, there's a lot of uh, trailer people that's that true. are here because they're full because we were looking at some places one thing about this trailer is it's a 30 amp service as opposed to 50 amp with 50 amp most of them will have two uh ac units so it'll mm -hmm. be a second unit in the bedroom um i was wanting that but now that i have a 30 amp one with one ac i'm very happy with it and the number one reason i'm happy is because our ac unit is so deckum loud um <laughs> oh my gosh it's like a airplane taking off in our trailer all the time exactly we're the loudest ac known to man welcome to the thunder clap i have nothing i have nothing loud. for now we're just getting ready for the big move mostly yeah a lot of stuff a lot of work uh, a lot of out processing for work it's very interesting how you know Leaving a job requires so much work, so much paperwork. So and much work to leave a job so you can stop working there. Yeah, so I can stop working there. Anyways. Anyway, but yeah, right. that's what we're up to. These bugs are annoying. We gotta go. Yeah, they're annoying me, we so. Go. We're Bye. just gonna leave. Peace. Just, gonna leave. <laughs> just leave Just leave Oh my gosh. Why do you want to be outside? That dog's psycho. She's been, she sits outside. It is a couple degrees on uh, cooler underneath the trailer, so that's nice.